Hello, my name is Mike Stenstrom, and I'm a professor at UCLA, and I've worked a lot with aeration systems. I've been there 37 years and developed lots of things uh, for monitoring efficiency of aeration systems. Hey, my name is Diego Rosso. Uh, as Mike introduced, uh, I've been a student in graduate school. And uh, I was uh, at UCLA for a number of years, now I'm at UC Irvine. I've been working on aeration systems uh, my whole scientific life. So I've been working as an engineer uh, with them and now on my own uh, on this uh, on this aeration uh, problems and gas transfer problems and the energy involved with this uh, gas transfer devices and uh, since 2000. Okay, I'd like to tell you about uh, an off-gas test I did just recently at a treatment plant in Washington State. It's called the Bremerton Treatment Plant. It's a typical municipal wastewater treatment plant. It's a modest size. Um, uh, it has two aeration basins. And in my test report, which um, you probably see as you see this video, I have an aerial shot of, of the, the treatment plant aeration tanks. And so this, this uh, plant was equipped with aerostrip diffusers 12 years ago. It is the first aerostrip diffuser installation in the United States. And uh, we tested it last year, a year ago, and uh, showed that it was still performing very well even after 11 years. And uh, of the diffusers that they've had there, they've had only about a, just a fractional, um, a, a small uh, replacement rate due to, to, to minor imperfections or tears due to sharp objects in the water and so forth. Um, but we had a, a very nice uh, transfer, transfer efficiency that was the highest I had seen for diffusers of that type at that age. And it's a medium to low SRT treatment plant. And so we took some diffusers from that plant and shipped them back to Austria to the um, Aerostrip facility there and we clean water tested them. Uh, and they were only cleaned to the, to the extent being cleaned normally by the treatment plant which was uh, mopping with uh, a, a detergent like Simple Green. They weren't power washed or acid cleaned or anything like that. And in the clean water test, we saw about 80% of the original efficiency, which I thought was remarkable for an 11 year old diffuser. So just a month ago, we tested it again. And we uh, performed the test, off gas test, before and after power washing. We power washed one of the tanks, the north tank. It took about four hours to power wash the entire tank. And then we filled it with, uh, back with mixed liquor and tested the next day. And what we saw was about a 15% improvement in transfer efficiency. But it had an interesting pattern in that, that the transfer efficiency improved only uh, at the first part of the tank where we would uh, expect greater fouling rate. As you got to the back end or effluent end of the tank, the transfer efficiency after cleaning was, was similar to the transfer efficiency before cleaning, which points out the need for um, managing fouling and the need to clean diffusers. And also, importantly, the manifold pressure to the system dropped, dropped six-tenths of a PSI after cleaning. It dropped down 0 0.6 PSI, which was, I, th I think, a remarkable improvement for, for that power washing, especially given that uh, it was uh, easy to do and not very time consuming. So these are results from last year. Yeah, there's a slide with a graph that you plot. This one here. So if you look at this, uh, you think like a, a several, like a five year running average, you see like it's very slowly creeping up, but it's still but like very DO far too. away. Look at the DO creeps up at yeah. the same rate. But yeah. in your, if you compensate for DO, even though it may creep up a little bit, you st still like several fold away from that average. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you, you have to wait forever until you get there. That's the point. Yeah. Well, this is remarkable because there is no more creep up because usually you do cleaning or you do uh, uh, fine pore diffuser replacement and you, you see creep up over time, mm -hmm. which is why I did this. Uh, I could have plotted that. Yeah.